to talk more about the situation in Algeria and the new president. I'm joined by Dalia Ghanem, a resident scholar at the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace. Thank you very much for joining us on France 24. Uh, is, in your opinion, Tebun someone who can bring people together in Algeria after this very uh, turbulent period? Well, that is going to be very difficult because this is a president that has been refused by a majority of Algerians who refused, as a matter of fact, this election, uh, the election that happened in December 12. So the new Algerian president is facing a great deal of uh, challenges and notably a lack of legitimacy. And of course, one of his first challenges here is this popular movement that has been going on for the last 10 months months very peacefully and civically, yet refusing the facelift, if I may say, that the regime is trying to impose on people as people are asking for real and genuine change. So whether Tabun is going to be this president who is going to gather all the Algerians together, I doubt about it. Now, these protests uh, have been striking um, in one respect, that they have been largely driven by young people. We've seen so many young Algerians, as you say, protesting peacefully uh, out in the streets day after day, saying they want real change. They don't want the old system hanging on. Uh, and here you have a man in his 70s um, who's already been in government before. It, it doesn't seem to be the kind of change people were calling for, does it? Exactly. I mean, we have a president. Actually, as some people told me in Algiers, this is the extension of Bouteflika era without Bouteflika, and rightly so. We have here a president that is actually a former, uh, you know, or if I may say, a pure product of the system. He has been there for decades. He is more uh, 70, more than 70 years old, and there is no real change. And more than that, today, if we listen to his speech, uh, he didn't, uh, you know, he mentioned several issues, the economic challenges and so on and so forth, but he did not comment on the long-awaited issue of prisoners, of detainees. And I think the first gesture uh, to gain a modicum of legitimacy for this new president is, you know, to release all political detainees without any condition. That could be a strong, you know, message to send to the Herak, to the popular movement and that could engage actually Algeria in a real, you know, at least, you know, in the beginning of, of a transition. Could this not be seen as somebody who could at least oversee a transitional period um, in Algeria? And might there be someone emerging from the protest movement who might be a future leader of Algeria? Well, you know, the, 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 the problem is that Tabun has no legitimacy and Tabun has been brought uh, by the military. That's a fact. So today we have a president who has a major uh, problem. He is pressured, if I may say, between, on the one hand, a population that has been refusing uh, him, and on the other hand, by the military who brought him to power and who is going to oversee uh, everything, who is, go who is going not to govern the country, but to rule it. Now, for the Hirak, it is very important for the Hirak to decide on its end point, meaning what does constitute a victory for the Hirak. And for this, I believe that the popular movement has to institutionalize itself, choose some personalities from its rank to represent it, to negotiate on its name uh, with the, the government. Dalia Granem, thank you very much indeed. Now, the European Court of Justice